Hello everybody, AB here from Blender52. Yesterday I received a number of questions regarding how I was able to achieve this rainbow color across my model. And it's really quite simple. When you're in your standard look view, not your look dev or your render mode, your standard shading mode, you come up here top right, there's this little drop down arrow that's called shading. Click there and you'll see I've got it set to random. Now this simply assigns a random color to every separate piece of your model. Now, ordinarily, it's set to material, which if we click on that, you can see this is how our model would normally look. Now, the great thing about these options is that you've got a number of different things which can really make your modeling experience all that much better. If we click on matcap, you can see we've got a number of different shaders which we can apply to our model for different effects. Now, this one, it's quite a cool cartoony effect. While if we click on this one, those of you that are familiar with ZBrush will know this one quite well. Another really interesting one is this Chrome look. This is really handy to see how your model will react to light on curved surfaces. Using materials like this can also help you see if there are any errors or flaws in your model. If we look here, we can see we've got this weird little fold or overlap. So let me just turn on overlays. If we select this and go inside, we can see that we've got this crease line, which is causing this issue. So we're just gonna select that, turn it off, and when we go back in, we can now see that that little fold has disappeared. So as you can see, it's quite handy to see any errors. Another cool thing we can do just turn on, if it will let me, Cavity. Now Cavity pushes back your shadows and bring forward your highlights. This really allows you to see all the little details of your model quite well. Another thing we can do is turn on Shadows. As the name suggests, we now have shadows on our model, which is being projected by our geometry. Now we can start combining all of these things together so while we've got this chrome, we can also turn on random and we now have random chromed colors. Another interesting part is if we go to viewport, you can see this gray color here. If we click on that, we drag the little slider up. You can now see we have a nice white background. Now it's important to remember that these are not materials. They're basically just showing how our model looks in this view mode. So if we push render, you will see, give it a second, that I'm actually still in cycles and that none of those colors are even appearing. So it's just a representation of what our model looks like in that view. So if you want to capture this, you actually need to go to view and click viewport render image. Now, if we do that, you can see we're a lot closer However, the quality is not great, our background is missing, and it's not ideal. So what I would usually do is just go down here, bring up my Windows Snipper, say New, drag to what I want to capture, say Copy, and then I can paste it into whatever social I want, Discord, so I can upload to Instagram, or whatever. If you've enjoyed this video and you've found it quite interesting, please subscribe to the channel as I hope to be creating a lot more content in future. Thanks.